Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Tuesday, March 21st. It is the 80th day of the year. There are 285 days left. Happy National Renewable Energy Day! National Renewable Energy Day takes place on March 21st every year. This observance highlights the dangers of over-exploiting fossil fuels and also acts as an awareness campaign for the benefits of using renewable energy sources. It is a time for everyone to reflect on their impact on the world around us and make efforts to preserve the ecosystem. National Renewable Energy Day has been observed every year on this day since 2004. We observe the day on March 21st to create awareness about the importance of renewable sources of energy. Renewable energy refers to energy produced by natural sources, geothermal heat, wind, tides, sunlight, and rain are examples of renewable energy sources. Energy from these sources is created through a natural process and is constantly replenished. By 2011, renewable energy achieved an unprecedented milestone as it accounted for 11.7 of natural energy production. Our dependence on fossil fuels such as natural gas, coal, and oil is unsustainable. The fossil fuel reserves are on the decline and this could prove problematic for future energy needs. Burning fossil fuel also plays a part in damaging our ecosystem. Switching from fossil fuels to renewable alternatives can help us improve the planet's health and satisfy the energy needs of future generations. Today is also National Flower Day, National French Bread Day, National Fragrance Day, and National Rosie the Riveter Day. Okay, National Dayers, today we're going to make a solar hot dog cooker. Gather the following supplies. You'll need a Pringles can, a long skewer, a skewer that's longer than the Pringles can, a knife, and a hot dog. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do, no judgment here, is empty that Pringles can however you want. You'll notice the inside of the can is reflective meaning it's shiny. That's gonna help us later. So next you wanna cut an opening in the side of the can that is three inches wide by eight inches long. And then poke a hole in the middle of the bottom of the can and in the lid. Next, take your skewer and you want to skewer the hot dog all the way down the whole length of the hot dog and make sure that it's sitting right in the middle of the skewer. And then you wanna insert the skewer into the Pringles can, having the ends stick out of both sides of the Pringles can. And you've made a hot dog cooker. What should happen is the reflective inside of the can should reflect the heat of the sun when you put it outside. And as you spin it, the hot dog will get warm like the inside of the can cooking the hot dog. Unfortunately, it was snowing when I made it, so I can't wait to see what you guys figure out if your hot dog gets cooked or not. You knew it was going to happen, right? Commando's a hot dog! All right, so I was going to test my hot dog oven, but the sun hasn't been out, so... <laughs> I think we still have some work to do. What do you think? All right, National Dayers, eat some hot dogs today. Keep smiling. Have a terrific Tuesday, and I will see you tomorrow. And he will too. Bye. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Shoutouts today start us off with Mrs. Jones and everyone in her second grade class at Buchanan Elementary School in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Next up is Mr. Kevin and everyone in the high school active learning classroom at Lake Highlands High School in Dallas, Texas. And our third shout out today goes out to Mrs. Harkness and everyone in the seventh and eighth grade program at Sykeston Junior High School in Sykeston, Missouri. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you loved your shout out. Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, 
just complete the Google form. The link can be found below this video in the description. And here it is, our updated Super Spectacular Shoutout Map.